hope you're feeling positive because this is the introverted positron and welcome back to another episode of Tips Gaming Philosophy. Today we're going to be doing Tales of Symphonia, but I want to do something a little bit different. The format for, for this part of the channel is going to be switching so it's a little bit more personal. So we're going to be doing a discussion format it's just so I can kind of break away from the script a little bit and just discuss philosophical elements in the game in ways that are more off the top of my head, which will turn out differently at least. I'm going to see how this works out. But, I mean, there will still be some scripted videos next month. It will still be scripted. Beyond that, though, I, I don't think we're going to be seeing that format pop up a lot anymore. Um, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. Anyway, so, Till Symphonia. Um, I've talked briefly about it during my Let's Play. Um, but I don't think I've really had an opportunity to talk about why I really love the game as much as I do. And to be honest, it's because of the philosophical elements that the game has. Uh, when I think back on it, it's lots of different little things in the game. It's it's the little ways that the characters interact with each other. Yes, they're all different stereotypes, and they're very um, and they're very two dimensional for the most part. There's not a lot of three dimensional development or characters in the game. In fact, I would say there's not really any. But the game and world develop characters that are likable and that you can relate to. And in that fact, it does it very well. And it also creates situations that are very relatable. In fact, many of the situations that they talk about in the game, not in the magical sense or the direct sense, but in terms of the base sense, a lot of the stuff that happens in the game are stuff we can relate to. They're things that we deal with in life. Um, and that kind of brings me to the first thing I want to talk about. Um, and that's just the idea of good and evil. The game talks about the subject a ton. Because, I mean, throughout the game, there's the whole idea, like, there's, there's, um, there's the whole story of Mythos and how he became, uh, Yggdrasil and how basically he wants to destroy the world to make something new. He wants, he wants his sister, really, is kind of the point of the whole thing, but he wants to create a world with only half elves in it because he sees them as being a discriminated group but is what he's doing wrong is kind of the question that pops up in a game because what you end up seeing is something that's very relatable in terms of it like, yes he's insane but he's dealing with a group who's a minority who feels very very hurt because of the way that they've been treated um, and the way that things have developed for them and he's trying to fight for something that will help them to be stronger and to survive and to live free of discrimination but he goes about it in very interesting ways and mostly it's it involves killing everybody else which is interesting because they talk about the fact that he was a hero he was somebody who worked with his sister and strived to create a world um, that could be much better and part of that was breaking the tree and causing two worlds that had money. Anyway, I'm explaining it really badly, but that's beside the point. Um, the point is, is that we have to kind of discuss the idea of is what is he, is he an evil person? Um, and honestly, my personal answer to that would be no. But uh, that's that's something that is an interesting subject. Is Yggdrasil is mythos evil um to be honest good and evil is uh, is more complicated than it seems it seems like an issue of black and white but good and evil are are things that we've never really defined we know that good is good and evil is evil they're words that kind of define themselves and we're just supposed to understand what that means but the issue is is, is good and evil something that's subjective is is it something that we can only talk about in terms of our own experiences because for instance good um, by some philosophers is actually described as being something that uh, that benefits you and evil is something that hurts you now in the case of Yggdrasil something that was good was for him to be free of the discrimination and for his race to be free of the discrimination but something that was bad was the discrimination and it's also is the the good and evil there that's the issue though is that that definition doesn't work because it, it doesn't have a, an objective way of viewing the world it doesn't have a way for us to really um, reconcile the idea of having subjectivity between people because for instance 
um, even in terms of animals and stuff, right? Like, what we do to an animal because we need to consume meat for for life, and that's ultimately part of it, right? Is we need to consume life for life. What we do isn't beneficial for that animal. So to that animal, what we could be doing could be considered to be evil, and what they're doing could be considered to be good, even if it's damaging our housing and damaging areas and all that stuff. It depends on the animal, of course. But the idea is, is that the subjectivity there it doesn't really work. And then there's the the other idea, or the other idea. There's lots of different ideas. But then there's the idea of um, of happiness being a measure of of good or evil, something that creates um, that creates the most happiness can be considered to be what is good, um, and that is <laughs> very flawed because. If you stick strictly by that idea of moral philosophy, you have to, you can't really care about minorities in that case. The minorities fall because the majority is the one that will produce the most happiness from your actions. And there's issues with that. We shouldn't be ignoring the minor. We shouldn't be ignoring people who are minorities because the majority thinks something that that they disagree with or that hurts them. But by that definition, that would be what it is. And in that case, Mythos and Yggdrasil would indeed consider to be evil. But I can't really reconcile that idea. I can't think of that as being something that is possible to consider to be a definition of what is good or evil. Um, so, I mean, honestly, the answer on that front is tough. So, either <laughs> of those definitions have what I would call a good solution to the problem but what he does and the game talks about this and this is why I love Lloyd as a character um, Lloyd is kind of the one that that challenges everybody to think about things differently and that's kind of his role in all of that and that's why I don't consider Yggdrasil to be evil because I see him as somebody who's relatable in the sense that he in the fact that he cares about somebody very closely and that that takes priority and that his experiences are what has led him, have led him to believe that the ultimate solution to the problems is to create every, a world where everybody is exactly the same. Um, because the issue with half-elves in the game is that they are a race that is, that is both um, rejected by elves and half-elves because they're in between. Neither one can really accept them as being, um, as being anything but less than what they are, and that's an awful situation. I can't blame him for being the person that he is, considering he's lived for as long as he has with that situation. I don't think he's evil because he sees the problems. I think that what is evil is the actions he takes, the idea of, of sacrificing um, of sacrificing everybody in the worlds to to meet his goals. I think that's what ultimately it is. And I think that's kind of where I stand with, with this idea, is that morality in and of itself is... I, I don't believe in, in subjectivity and morality, which is a weird concept, because it's hard to really argue, and I can't get into a ton of it on that front, and we'll be talking a lot more about morality in the future. But in terms of morality, it's so hard to argue for objectivity because it seems like everything is subjective. We all have wrong perspectives, we all see things, and we all have our different ways of viewing the world, and that's not going to change. And where we look, depending on countries, laws change, but there are things that don't. And there are things that people reject naturally, or at least it seems that people seem to reject naturally when it is even something that's normal to them. And I can't give examples here, I need to do more research for that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's not the subject of this. Um, the subject was uh, Lloyd Wright. Lloyd challenges um, everybody and he challenges Yggdrasil to start thinking about it differently. Mythos makes the it clear um, earlier on that he didn't want to hurt them. He did consider them to be friends. Um, but he has to throw that away because he's already sacrificed so much to be where he is, and that's where he stops listening. He even says that Lloyd is a good person in Noish, 
and Noish is kind of an odd character in that game, but we're not going to... Again, too many too many different topics we can talk about. I'm just focusing on the one because I don't want this to be like 30 minutes. But um, Noish is also an interesting character, but he admits that. He admits that he doesn't want to be doing what he's doing to hurt these people. That's not his intention. His intention is to help the people that he does care about. So I don't think I can really consider that to be evils, but... Um, and uh, I got so tra- sidetracked. Um, so the idea is that I believe that there is no such thing as an evil person. And that's hard to say. And I, I realize uh, what people think on this issue. I, I realize that it's hard to say that there's no evil people because we see evil people all the time. Or at least we think we do. We see people who do awful things and we think that they have to be evil. And I don't know on that front i don't have all the answers um it's something that i would have to have a three like i would have to have at least an hour just to talk about this but mythos's actions are evil but i wouldn't necessarily consider him to be evil and Lloyd challenges that right he challenges the ideas that these people have throughout the game he talks to the mayor of palma costa and uh the mayor talks about uh, justice, and he says, I hate the word justice. And that's that's an interesting scene when you really think about it. Because the scene in and of itself is like, and I've had to think about it, why does he say he hates the word justice? Um, and it's because justice is uh, something that seems to be flawed in a sense. In more particular, it's because people use the word to justify whatever they're doing. Whatever they're doing whether it's vengeance, whether it's killing somebody for the sake of others, it's all justified through justice. Justice is the answer in those cases, and that's what Mythos does. He thinks that the idea of everybody being hurt requires the justice of them being hurt back. But whether or not that's justice is really a topic for another conversation. And I think I've rambled on enough about this. Still, it's an interesting subject uh, to talk about, and... Um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. I've kind of rambled a little bit. I think I like this format more myself. Uh, But let me know if you want to see more um, scripted stuff, if you want me to go back to that format. Totally up for it. Um, It's all up to what people want to see here. Um, It means I don't get to get to conclusions as much, and that's just going to be a fact of it all. There's just no way for me to not have a script to make a way to a conclusion without having it be a very long video, and I'm probably going to have to cut a lot of this as it is. Uh, which is going to be the whole editing process. That's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to leave any suggestions for games you want to see here for anything, um, both for Let's Plays and for this part of the channel. And feel free to to discuss in the comments. I really want to see what people think on all this. Um, so yeah, on that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel, there's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, And so on that note, thank you again, have a great day, and remember to keep positive.